To import a supplier invoice from zero into next minute is actually very easy and there's a couple of different methods you can use to, to do so. I'll talk you through both. Now the first is I'm going to go from the job screen into David's new house just here. It's job 112. So I'll open that up, go into the supplier invoices button. You can see any existing supplier invoices loaded against this job. From here go add and you'll see import from zero just down there. So click on that and this is going to connect to your zero and show all of your bills yet to be imported between this particular date range or any other filters you might be running such as supplier. I can see straight away based on the zero tracking category this job ID 112 does relate to job 112 in next minute. So I can simply grab that, go select job or task, grab the most recent job if it happens to be 112 and in this case it is, or go select job to choose another and then simply go import now. So let's grab that one in first. Perfect. Now, now that this bill's been imported, it'll be removed from the left hand list there and it's going to exist in the job itself. You'll see 112, there's the Bunnings invoice and uh, that's also, I've chosen to add that to charges. So if I go into charges here, go into my sections view, which is a good detailed view, and then just uh, scroll down a bit, I'll see that Bunnings uh, invoice, there it is. And there's the items within it. Now from there obviously you can just have these as costs against the job for tracking if you um, have quoted a job. Or you can actually choose to invoice these charges which you can look at in um, another video, I'll, I'll link it down below. Now the other way to add a supplier invoice, say you've got quite a few of them, and you've got quite a few jobs to add them to, is by going to accounts on the left hand side go to your supplier invoices. This is going to show everything you've got uh, in next minute in the, uh, from past imports or creation. Now from here, go to add and then import from zero. And it's the same steps as before, but at this stage, you can basically choose the relevant jobs and do this in bulk. So I can go select job in this case. I'm looking for 1039. 1039. There we go, more renovation, so that's one. Now this one's also for 1039, I'll grab that. Select job, same, 1039. Finally, this one here is also for 112, so I'll grab that, go select job or task, select job and find 112. Grab that, import now. Now nice and simply, those are all done, bills are applied to the jobs, your costs are there, ready to invoice if you need to, job done. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.